What's up guys? Today we're going to go over something very interesting. A lot of times when you're transferring from another system, you're given Excel spreadsheets. Now these spreadsheets typically are in different formats. They're usually called CSV files. And one of the problems that people run into, especially when importing into Shopify, is they've imported the spreadsheet. Everything works fine, but the only images that seem to import are the images on the first line. Now the reason this happens is because you need to have a handle associated with every image on every row of the CSV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in Excel how to set up a very easy script or a little formula in order to autofill the columns so that you have your variant uh, handle as well as the um, the image, ID, the image location next to it so that when you do the import it actually imports all of the images. This is one that I struggled over for a number of weeks so it's a, it's a, I thought it would be a very helpful thing to show you. Let's hop over to it now and we can go over it. So one of the things you find is when you're importing from another import statement and you're importing them into Shopify and it's only importing the first image and it's not importing the rest of it and the reason is is because you need to have the handle associated with the image in order for it to know where to import it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick Excel trick that you can do in order to autofill this column. As if, if you don't do that, what you have to do is you have to go through and basically drag these down on each one. And if you're dealing with thousands of products, this can be very time consuming. So I'm going to show you how to do it in one fill method. So first thing you want to do is you want to insert a new column. This is the column that we're going to use to take over the handle when we're finished doing the copy and pasting. First thing we want to do is we want to start using the if statement because we're going to do an if statement to find out whether something is blank or not. So we type if, then we open up our is statement. Now the logical test that we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the column that we need is blank. So if is blank, uh, is blank, and then it needs to have a value put in there. So in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if M2 is blank, because what we want it to do is if it's not blank, we want it to fill with the item that's in here. If it is blank, then we want to input our own field. So if M2 is blank, then the next portion of it is we need to know if, tell it what to do if it's true. So if it's true, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this column with the item that's above it. So the one above it would be M1, so the one above it. And then if it's false, what we want to do is we actually want to fill it with its current value. So if it's not blank, we want to continue to keep that value. So then that would become M2. Um, and then we're going to close that. And now once we've done that, as long as I have all the column commons in the right spot, we should see it pull in um, the item that's in the handle here. Now if I drag this down, we should see it autofill. Actually, hold on. This should be N2, not M2. My mistake, because we want to grab the one above. So, fills it down, and then when we get to the next item, it'll fill it in with the column down below. We can drag that along. When we get down to the next one, it'll drag it in. So now what we can do is we can go and autofill the entire column um, with values and then rename this to handle and delete handle. So now when we do the import, what it's going to do is it's actually going to take each individual image and attach it to a product handle. And then that way um, we have all of our images imported. And that's everything you need to know about uh, using the if blank statement in Shopify. So once we've finished filling in our columns and got all of our handles in the, in the new column that we've created, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to delete out this original column. So what we're going to do is we'll call this handle here. Or oh, actually no, what we're going to do is we're going to insert one more blank column. So let me do that, insert. And then what you want to do is you want to copy all of the stuff that you just generated. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to go to this new column that we created and we're going to paste values only. Now if you're on a PC you can right click and go paste special and it will give you the option to paste values only. The reason we want to do this is because when we eventually delete this column here, so I'm going to do that now, you'll notice that the one that we created 
the, it's going to screw up all the formulas. So we want to have a finalized version in just value format that we can then delete out and clean up everything that's not needed. So I'm now going to delete the reference one that we had before and we're going to call this handle. So you should be able to now import your newly generated CSV file with all your handles matching up with your images. So now um, all of the images for your uh, import will show up underneath your specific products.